Well, the uh, drums have uh, cured and uh, I'm done the rear brakes, right? Well, you know, it's not like doing the rear brakes is really hard, like I had to buy two sets of adjusters to get the right, uh, you know, kit. Buying two sets of brake cables to get one that I could adapt to my purposes. Uh, ordering two sets of drums because somebody walked off with the first set. Uh, fighting with eight springs on each side to get uh, these uh, drum brakes together. Uh, turning 200 thou or maybe a little bit more off of the uh, ends of the adjusters so that uh, they wouldn't uh, be pushing the shoes out so far. Fabbing my own parking brake uh, cable adapter. Sorting out the correct e-brake pedal cable. And, uh, and right now, it's not like the drums are hanging up on the backing plate with the tires on. Oh wait, no. I'm wrong about that last one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, they're rubbing here and completely binding the hell out of the damn uh, drums. So I have two choices here. I can completely take the shoes apart and grind off that piece there and I think I got a lot of meat behind there so it wouldn't be like it would be a big deal there. Uh, what's actually behind there? Oh, whatever. But uh, I think what I'm going to elect to do rather than fighting with taking apart these uh, drum brakes again, um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to rotate this on here and you can actually see how far the pads come out to and I'm going to grind a relief into that with the uh, with the angle grinder and uh, and just give me a little bit more clearance there. It's not hanging up by a lot, but it's hanging up by enough. And uh, and then I guess next time I have to do brakes on this thing, which hopefully will be many years from now, I'll deal with it properly because obviously, well, these drums will probably be very serviceable. And once they get turned down a bit, uh, they might not be uh, as much of a hassle here, but uh, nevertheless, I suppose I could take it to a brake shop and get them to cut a chamfer on it, but uh, yeah, I'd have to go somewhere and I can't be bothered. So I'm going to do that. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do this. I might just rotate it by hand. I was thinking about driving something off the pinion to uh, to do it, but you know, it'd take as long to fabricate something, something to, uh, to work with that. I could do the air the air uh, ratchet on there, but then I'd have to work out some way of attaching it, so I think I'm just being silly if I go to that much trouble. Oh, I'd get a nice neat job. We'll see what I do. Okay, so I uh, I went and I ground back uh, more of a chamfer on it. I'm going to go and turn this thing around and see how it went, but I thought I'd show you. Uh, I got it very consistent. I did use my air ratchet, you know, wired to a sawhorse to uh, spin it as I was grinding with a flap wheel to get a nice smooth finish and I think I got it consistent enough that I won't throw the balance off. Um, just so you know the paint that's on here is proof of, you know according to the label against uh, many chemicals and brake dust and all that stuff. Apparently not brake cleaner just so you know. <laughs> Anyways I'm gonna turn this around and try it out. Okay, so, and those are all tight, and it's not hanging up, but, predictably, I did have to take it all apart again, and I ground the uh, backing plate down a bit where it was hanging up. So, I'm going to do the same to the other side, and hopefully I won't have to do the grinding on the back of the drum. I'll just grind the backing plate more, and we'll see how that goes. You know, I didn't want to have to take the whole thing apart again, but I did it three times, four times anyways. Might as well do it a fifth and sixth time. <sighs> okay, and you can see that I didn't have to take off a huge amount here and here to, uh, to clearance it. None of the other ones seem to be rubbing at all. And uh, even those ones were only rubbing in the slightest. So, uh... I was tempted to go and knock off the other ones, but if they weren't bothering it, I'm not going to worry about it. There's no end play in the hub, so uh, so I don't think that it's going to move any closer or further on cornering and cause it to rub. You know, if it does, I guess it's self-correcting, but it's not exactly correcting the way I'd want it to. Okay, so let's get this pig back together. 
as I'm right next to the camera, I probably sound like I'm shouting. Uh, and uh, then I'll do the other side. Okay. Um, I've said my mantras, and uh, I'm working on the passenger side now. And uh, I clearanced all of these, and I already tried the drum on. Bolted it on with four lug nuts, and, uh, and it was not dragging on the uh, backing plate. And I'll live with this, you know, like if I ever get around to it. Or if I, next time I do the brakes, maybe I'll sand these and paint them, but I'm not too worried about it. It's not going to kill me if they rust. But uh, I'm having a frustrating problem right now with the driver's side, and I suspect it's going to happen again with the passenger side as well. The pads keep dragging, and it's, or shoes keep dragging at the bottom. And I know it's at the bottom because you can see these marks here where it's binding up. And it's the same thing on the front here. Uh, well, not so much. But in any case, it binds it up to the point where it uh, where it uh, is hanging up the shoes. You know, like it's like hanging up the brakes. And it's not the adjuster. I literally, I took the, the adjuster out to make the shoes as tight in as possible and they uh, they still were uh, catching there. You know, I think it was probably made it worse because they'd kick back and forth and they'd catch in each direction. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of flummoxed by that problem there. You know, like I'm starting to wonder if all this brake stuff is wrong. Like I got the wrong shoes, the wrong drums, the you know, like as well. You know, like for whatever this axle, you know, well, for this Dana 60 here. You know, like maybe it was supposed to be 13 inch drums. Like what was on it was 12 inch drums. This is an exact duplicate of the drum that was on it. And, uh, and all that. So I'm kind of not sure what to think here. If I have to go and buy new drums and shoes, I'm going to start pricing out, uh, disc brakes for the back. You know, like it may just be that those will wear in a little bit at the bottom and no problem, but I don't want them dragging in to the point where it's going to heat everything and destroy a drum or overheat the wheel bearing and uh, and destroy the axle. You know. Oh, I just want to get this stuff done, but it is just becoming just the biggest pain in the ass of a lifetime here. Anyways, I'm feeling real tired. I'm going to finish putting this together. I'm going to put the wheels back on, drums back on. And I was going to do some of the lines here, but you know what? I'm going to move on to something else for a little while. And uh, and just get brakes out of my head. Because these brakes have just... I can, I, I've never had this much trouble with, with brakes. You know, I've done them several times in several different trucks. And... and uh, and this has just been a nightmare, and I can only attribute it to the fact that I've got to have the wrong parts. It's the only possibility right now is that all the parts are wrong. Anyways, let's go to a more positive note. Isn't that a pretty cat? And she's going to go and sit in the brake drum. Well, that didn't work very well. What do you think, Mrs. Dog? There you go. Uh-oh, another dog. Jealous dog. And now that dog, dog is jealous of this dog because she's getting a pet. Anyways, I'm gonna knock off, I think, in a minute or two here. I think you put a lamb on, and I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the night here. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Okay, I wanna run something by you guys. Um, not gonna do it today, but I'll do it tomorrow, and I'll just listen to what you guys have to say about this. Um, I'm thinking to eliminate this dragging problem, since it really only seems to be the bottom of, of the shoe that seems to be dragging a bit. I'm thinking about taking these off one more time. And just giving it a sanding. I, like I did lightly sand the pads with some 400 just to take some of the the gunge off of them that was on there. But uh, I was thinking about sanding this and sanding just the bottom part of this, you know, down uh, not even a, a half a millimeter, which is I guess what sixteenth of an inch, and uh, and and just see if that helps things a bit because it only seems to be catching at the bottom there. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that, and that really is it for today. The other side is together, and it's pretty tight, and uh, I don't think it's going to be too satisfactory to leave it the way it is. I could drive it and see what happens, but 
Uh, I'd prefer to have it done right rather than burn out the brakes and do it twice or replace a whole axle. Anyways, guys, that's it.